If you start off with your wow, then you channel something wrong, then it's like a little bit of untruth. And then it affects somebody, mm -hmm. you keep doing that. Was that the uh, law of compensation um, coming there? What's my intention and what's my modesty going to do? If I'm channeling something and I know my condition is still not at one, then I have to say to every person I'm channeling to, look, I can't guarantee that this information is exactly what the Spirit is saying to me. That's a proviso, isn't it, that, that begins in every message until I'm a one, surely. Right? However, if I'm connecting to a second sphere spirit and I know I'm in a second sphere condition, I know the channeling is going to be pretty accurate, right? Because we're in the same condition, we have the greatest rapport. Look at also the intention. What's my intention? Is my intention to harm the person or is it my intention to give the most accurate information that I'm possible to give, that it's possible for me in my current condition to give? And you could say that to the people who come. You can say, look, my intention here is to give you the most accurate possible information that I can possibly give you given my current condition. And then when you give them the information, whose responsibility is it now? It's now their responsibility, isn't it? And by the way, it's also their law of attraction. So if there is some error in it, actually part of it that created that error is their own law of attraction, which they would need to allow themselves to feel through. So the key is to not be afraid of saying the truth. If the truth is I'm not, I, I know that I've got a certain emotion in me or I've got certain emotions in me that are going to affect it, just say I know, I'm not yet at this point where I'm totally clear but I think you will be impressed with the information that we can transmit. But bear in mind that there might be things in it that are due to my emotional condition. You can say these things. Don't be afraid of saying it. In fact, humility would dictate that you say it, wouldn't it? And then you don't have to have any fear about whether you're wrong or not, because you've already told them that there is a potential you're going to be wrong. And then it rests on the hearer as to what they're going to do. So many of you have, like I've told you over and over in these groups, I am not yet at one again with God. So there, all of the things I'm saying to you, there is the potential for me having to change them some down the, sometime down the track, is there not? Right? And all of you need to bear that in mind. However, I am very close to the condition and I know I am, but you don't have to believe me. You will feel it if you trust your soul. You will feel what I'm saying is truth or... You know, you'll feel the resonance going on. And anyway, it's your law of attraction. <laughs> so look at that. You see what I'm saying? It's the same principles with any interaction that you have with anyone.